I'm Lynn. And I'm Erica. And we're with AccuQuilt. And today we want to show you our new vibrant Ohio Star quilt that we have behind us. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to show you how to put together one of the Ohio Star blocks today. Right. This is the Go Ohio Star die, and this is one of our blocks on a board. Right, so we like to call them bobs right bobs. here. Bobs, right. Okay, so uh, one of the great things about the Ohio Star uh, die is that it is designed so that you can um, cut an entire block in just one pass. So that makes it really easy to get it this does. quilt it's cut out. It does, it's gonna go together really quickly. And accurately and safely. You can uh, fan fold your fabric. Absolutely. Or layer. So if you are going to fan fold, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna measure um, the width of your um, shape that you're gonna cut. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you'd, I wanna allow like a quarter of an inch on either side. Right. And on your width of strip, just cut it right cut your width of strip, and then you'll just fan fold with your selvage edge down here. Absolutely, and that's gonna put the selvage heading into the machine the way we want it to. That's right, so up to six layers. And this die is also compatible with the Go and... And the Go Baby. Right, so that's so. great as well. Uh, what we've got here is that on the quarter square, we are going to cut all of the pieces. So we've got the yellow, one layer of yellow, two layers of the pink, and then one layer of the, the background color. Okay, and then on the squares, we've got four of the white and one of the orange. And you notice that the shapes are not square on the die, and that's on purpose to get the best possible cut. So you'll want to line those, sh your fabric up with the blades and not the edge of the board. Another good tip. Great tip. Uh, also, this die, you can use the quarter squares all by themselves or the square by itself. And so if you're doing that and you're just cutting quarter squares, what a great use for your six by six mat. You can just cover up the fabric that you're cutting. Exactly. And we're gonna use the six by 12 since we're cutting both. And remember to use both sides of your mat to move it around, uh, flip it back and forth in between cuts. You're gonna prolong the life of your mat that way. Okay, so Erica, I'm gonna hand you the Excellent. quarter squares. And these quarter squares are put together with our dog-eared corners like you see on our triangles. And we're gonna then put these together for me so that I, if I get my fingers to work, they're gonna be right, ready to go straight to the machine. I'm gonna stop you. Are you this you, this you would be wrong, wouldn't it? That's I wanna right. go the other way because I was about ready to sew those together like they were half square triangles and they're quarter square triangles. Right, so. and so that's why I we always recommend, I recommend too, but uh, we recommend that before you start any project that you do a test block first before you start cutting your fabric so that you make sure that you've got all the tips and tricks down. And I didn't always do that, but I have started doing that and it also gives you a nice feeling of accomplishment to see what it's gonna look like. That's so. right. And you can take these and just chain stitch these along at the machine. They're ready to go for you. Now, if you don't want to cut the entire block out all at one time, you can also um, cut all of your colors out at once. However you want to do it works great. Uh, this block, because it does finish to 12 inches, it's compatible with your 12 inch mix and match set as well as your eight inch mix and match set because of these finish at four inches. So that makes it very compatible with existing dies. Exactly, and we're gonna press these, and we're gonna press towards the dark side, um, which is how I was always taught, and it's gonna be really important later on when we put these together to get really perfect points there in the centers of these squares. So just give that a quick press, and your, these are just perfect, the way they went together. So and I, I love how you don't have to cut, take that extra step to cut those dog ears off. I do too. So when we put this together now for our next step to make our square, you're gonna see because we've pressed to the dark on both sides, when we put these, line these seams up together, they're basically gonna lock in. And I'm gonna put a pin there just to double check myself, but this is how we're gonna get that perfect point in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this together to show it off as well. So the Ohio Star uh, block is typically very traditional. Um, it is a favorite in, the, in quilting, uh, but you can also, like our um, vibrant Ohio Star quilt, you, depending on the fabrics that you choose, you can make it modern. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can get a whole different look. 
Oh, and I didn't mention, but all, these dies, like all of our others, are put together with a standard quarter-inch seam allowance for you. Okay, so let's see. Moment of truth. Ooh, that is there very we nice. Go. You okay. can see how nicely that's gone together then right there. Okay, so what you'd want to do at this point is you would want to, again, press towards you the would want darker to press. fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then once you do that, what's our next step? Our next step is going to be to put together our rows. And you can see we've done them over here. So we would go ahead and put together all of our, our three different rows for the block, like we've done over here. Again, we're going to press those seams and we're going to press opposite directions on these different strips so that, again, we're going to be able to lock in those seams right and sew that together right so then your seams would go in opposite directions and you'd pin that when you're right. ready to go and to i would step. go ahead and put a pin again at those critical points and that's going to make these points look as good as the center point does for you that's and right so then we've got our finished block there and you can download this pattern on accuquilt.com you can also find the pattern right inside the package and don't forget, while you're on AccuQuilt.com, we've got a blog with some fantastic tips for you. Mm -hmm. And you can also find us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Pinterest. Every quilter knows that better cuts make better quilts. Mm -hmm.